Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, and uh, Bill Horsch is announcing the uh, starting lineups for uh, Ash Wabanon. Eddie Madia, number three. Number 11, Kyle Moore. Number 24, Bennett Cook. Number 25 is Bryce Van Lannen. And number 30 is Jake Immig. For the Raiders, Ethan Gusky, number three, will be starting. Number 11, Devin Yurk. Number 21, Luke Belmore. 23, Shaq Francis. And number 31, Reed Conter. North is uh, coached by Tom Desitel. The Ashwaubenon Jaguars are coached by Kevin Phillips. Our officials for tonight's game are uh, Dave Thiel and uh, Chuck Bladorn. Uh, Bladorn has been refing. I talked to him before the game. 48 years he's been in the business. Oh. Does a lot of high school and college ball. Also does some football. There you see uh, Tom Desitel. Uh, tonight is uh, North High Wall of Fame induction night. Uh, Martha Hill, a 1998 graduate of uh, North High, is going to be inducted at halftime. And we also did a couple of interviews prior to the game with uh, Martha and Steve Shar, who is in charge of the committee for the ninth North High Wall of Fame. And uh, we hope to get those in at halftime and also show you the uh, Wall of Fame induction. Ashwabanon controls the tip. They come in seven and th five, four and two, North ten and two, and four and excuse me, five and two in league play. That's the big guy to watch there, Bennett Cook, six eight. Couple brothers that played Division ba one basketball. Oh, good uh, footwork that time by Cook to get the shot up and in. Oh, Monroe. Monroe, that was. Yep. Pardon me. Very young are the Jaguars. We'll talk about that as the night progresses. Luke Belmore, the glue of the team. And there, of course, Devin Yurk. Yurk's scoring's been down the last couple of uh, games, Chris. Yep, about 14 and a half. North coming in at 75 points a game, giving up 59. Ashwabadon scoring just 51. A uh, shot attempt by Gusky is no good, and uh, there's a fight underneath for the ball. And they're letting them play on. Belmore had it and then got it uh, taken away. And the Jaguars have it. Oh, good pass. And the layup is up and in by Monroe. His second basket. That's a freshman, boys and girls, number 11. And this Yurk is fouled on the way in. We mentioned Cook in the opening. He's a junior. Monroe's a sophomore. They also have a sophomore and another sophomore. Excuse me, Monroe, a freshman, and they have two sophomores and a juniors. They are looking for next year for their big year, but they're already moving up the league. Well, one of the things I noticed, Yerk's three-point attempt is a round and down. Is that uh, their leading senior scorer is Eric Vorpogel. He's only averaging 2.7 a game, Chris, yep. and that's a leading scorer for the seniors. How the Jaguars handle the uh, pressure by North, and then later that 1-3-1 one, one is if they're going to hang in with North. <laughs> that's what I got on my list for uh, keys <laughs> to success, so. handling the pressure. Well, good ball movement that time. Francis goes high for the rebound. Taking it to the hole, had it tipped away. Pretty good defense that time by Cook. North does 24. such a nice job of attacking, you know, with their uh, individual uh, skills and one-on-one. -on -one. Be interesting if the Jaguars can hang with them on defense. Gusky taking it up against the big guy gets fouled, but he's going to go to the line to shoot two. Foul goes on Kyle Moore, his first. Gusky will be shooting a pair. That, that make ties it up at four. Gusky Five. leading score on the squad, 15 points a game. He is just a junior. Very junior, senior dominated North squad. Up and in a couple there, it makes five to four North. 
Hook almost traveled. Good uh, again, good body control shown by that young man. Good ball movement by the Jaguars. Short jumper in the lane by Madia is up and in. Uh, they're pronouncing it Matea, Chris, so we'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> as long as you haven't said the name wrong yet like I have. Belmore with a little behind the back dribble. Couldn't get anywhere with it. Yerk's uh, layup attempt is no good, but uh, Conter tipped it away and it goes out of bounds. There you see Kevin Phillips taking a drink. Yes, uh, he also coached at a Green Bay school. I want to say it was uh, Preble, Preble or West. But, uh, yeah, I can't change. remember either. Same as like the DePierre coach who's moved. Well, they got to let the big guy get open underneath. Right, his skills are limited outside the paint, but inside the paint, he is 6'8". Conter with a three-point attempt. A high shot is no good. Battle underneath for the ball, and Belmore comes away with it. And they're going to get a foul on Cook, and that's going to be a big one. They want to get him in foul trouble early, but he's only got one. One, two, three. Three offensive rebounds for North already, Marty. And wow. again, if you are Eshwabanon, you want to hang in here. You got to have North one and out and stay out of foul trouble. This is right into the hands of the Raiders. Well, you can just see on the bottom of your screen, the hands go up, and that's uh, Coach Phillips talking to uh, Chuck Bladorn about that foul call. You know, how can it be a grab when he's got his arms straight up? And uh, Gusky couldn't connect on the last one. It's uh, eight to six, Ashwabanon. 440 remaining in the first, and uh, Mateus passes out of bounds. It's interesting that you had that as a key point too about the young team being able to handle the pressure of North. Wow, uh, that and like I said, can they stop dry penetration of North and? Let me ask you this, Chris, about North and their pressure defense. How important is it, do you think, to be able to not have to play that 1-3-1 one, one zone early, you know, and, and maybe surprise them a little bit with it later? Yeah, that, that is important, and that's something they always do. It seems like they just turn up the screws when that comes. You know, you man-to-man -man them, and then that 1-3-1. One, one, and You know, I'll tell you, North's not the tallest team in the, uh, in the state, but I'll tell you, their D is tough, and their... Uh, their defense is just unbelievable. Oh, Francis running the floor, and Yurk found him. Great play by the Raiders. That was sweet. Oh, over and back, and no call. Late whistle, but Mr. Thiel got it right. It's kind of like when your computer shows that little thing, processing. <laughs> Belmore a back cut by uh, Gusky, and then he pounce passes it over to Francis for another easy two, and the Raiders are up 10-8. to eight. They've run off five straight points. Another thing I think Eshwadon's not going to have is a lot of depth. I well, think they certainly don't have many seniors to go to, do they? <laughs> no. A good cover-up defense that time by uh, Yerk and Belmore. There's a walk. They're going to get a foul on North. Imig on a nice drive. I thought he walked, but uh, they get North for a foul. Belmore picking up the foul. Hammeister, Campion, and Manning all coming in for the Raiders. It makes two free throws, tie the score at 10 to 10, and it breaks the North uh, five point run. I know it's only five minutes, but it seems like, oh my. North has just dominated Marty, and they're only up by a bucket. Well, and you can't let Yurk go left like that. It's <laughs> just, uh, you're not going to stop him. No, I mean, that's just. <clears throat> that's too easy. Yeah, that's coaching and stuff. 
North trying to put the full court pressure on. Get those subs in there and get them working. High off the glass is no good. That shot attempted by Connor Dreves. Here has it again. Hammeister with the left hand off the glass and in. He's been playing a little bit better of late. A timeout for Coach Phillips, 14 to 10. I got a question for you, Chris. Is uh, Hammeister a left-hander? I haven't noticed that in the other games we I had, because I'll tell you, he looked pretty sweet with his so. left hand there. I don't think so. Well, North's just having their way, Marty. They're getting to the basket, drive penetrating, everything's easy. The defense is really, really, you know, putting the pressure on the Jaguars. And, you know, as this goes on, can they handle it? Last week they played Sheboygan South. It was a very close game until the fourth quarter when the, uh, the Red Wings just went cold and uh, they did, Eschwaudan it is, to get a 10-point victory. Um, they did uh, get beat by Bayport by 21. That's one of the losses by North by eight up at their place. WSCS Sports and all local programs are viewable on demand at wscssheboygan.com. Uh, click on programming, PEG TV. So on demand we're on now. Yeah, you can watch you and I. Isn't that scary? On request. We'll uh, announce that again if you didn't get the address. A couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like once every three minutes. Yeah, you know We're it going is technical over at WSCS. Well, it's amazing how many people ask for doing the games and things, Marty. So a lot of viewers are interested in maybe the game, not necessarily you or I, but at least the game. Mateo with a three. It's nice that Kerry and Scott do this every week to provide uh, this high school sports. People enjoy it. Uh, you're right. You know, people talk about it to you and me. I know you probably a little more because you hang out in the bars a lot. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, people want it. You know, and they like it, and yep. it's uh, a good thing for the community. How about that? Right off the bench, you get a uh, three by Campion, and then yeah, we've been here before, and he's done that. You know, he's a shooter. Well, Joe had that basket before. Oh, they're gonna get a grab on Campion. He did get a pretty good piece of uh, cook. Do you like that when you put a couple people in the game and they give you baskets right away? Instant offense. Gusky is back in the ball game. Now we talked about the Jaguars there. Uh, like I, we've mentioned, uh, Freshmen and two sophomores as their three of their four leading scorers, and then you add their sophomores pretty much handled the North JVs today, so they're up and coming. Pretty good hands on that shot, and it goes no good by uh, Matt Bavias. A nice little move by Hammeister, and he steps through for a basket. That's seven points off the bench, Marty, of the 19. Wow, that's great. Under a minute, 19 to 13 north on top. Good job of getting the ball in the middle on the, on the press. And there's a travel. Both officials had that. Now, Chris, I'm of the understanding that the officials have different coverages. You know, when they're out there, yet they both saw the travel. That means somebody wasn't looking where they were <laughs> supposed to. Well, I thought there was a travel earlier. There was down the lane, and they called that foul on North. But uh, I thought Emig, I thought. Yeah, he traveled first. I thought the same thing. Belmore is back in, and so is Yerk. The only non-starter on the floor is uh, Hammeister, and if he keeps putting up baskets, he'll be out there a lot more. 25 seconds remaining. North is going to play for one. Gotta like the pace, Marty. Yeah, 19 points is not bad. And they're up and down, and the defense is just spectacular. It just seems like it's getting better as the year progresses. 10 seconds. Hammeister, got it off the glass, no good. 
shot at the buzzer is no good and we're at the end of one quarter play, North on top, 19 to 13. Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwateriswierd.com. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Martha Hills is tonight's uh, Wall of Fame inductee. She's from the class of 1998. She was a state medalist in Special Olympics swimming from uh, 1994 to 98. She's a Special Olympics Wisconsin Global Messenger, and she's the president of the uh, Special Olympics Wisconsin Athlete Import, Import Input Council. And uh, we've got some more to talk about with uh, Martha. Uh, I didn't catch who scored. Belmore. Belmore and a steal by Belmore. And a lob to Belmore, and off the glass and in. North out to a 9 of 15 shooting, Marty. Belmore letting them know that he's in the gym tonight. Four turnovers now on Ashwaubenon, and it's going to get uglier. And timeout, a full timeout by uh, Ashwaubenon. Scott, why don't you give us 30 seconds and then uh, bring us back a little early, if you could, please. People might think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. We couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org. Have you heard? Scam artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare numbers. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected Back at North High as a cutie field house coming out of a timeout by Ashwaubenon to uh, not get a 10-second uh, call. Uh, North turning up the pressure, Chris, in this uh, late, late first quarter, early second quarter. Two timeouts already used, and we've only played nine minutes of basketball. You know, you could practice against this defense, but to play it is a lot against it is a total different thing. A good rebound that time by... Uh, by Devin Yurick, but then uh, Gusky takes a bit of a wild shot. Can't get it in. It's kind of like when the Badgers had to, you know, practice against or how you mean you can have all those scout teams you want, but until you see the Ducks running around on the field. Or the Jaguars. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty fast, and that's what North's doing to the Jaguars tonight. Oh, bank off the glass by Emig, and he has two. They're five of 12 from the floor so far, the Jaguars. 23 to 15, North on top. Really bunching up in the lane, Chris uh, Ashwabanon is to keep the drives down. Gusky's three point attempt is off. Cook with the rebound. That's the way I would play against North. Would be very active on those Good three-point shooters. Imig got it up, but he couldn't get it in. Made a nice move, but couldn't finish. 
Whoa, Shaq wasn't expecting that. Francis, good quickness. through the crowd, yeah, good quickness to the rim, but again, he couldn't finish. Well, good block by Cook, and almost a bit of a hold, but no call, <laughs> and then had it go off his face. <laughs> that was uh, I thought Luke, I... Luke with a little hold, that's <laughs> right. Well, just at the end, I mean, that doesn't count. <laughs> well, long enough to, for people to notice, like the entire Ashwaubenon uh, parent section. Luke isn't gonna take it. <laughs> 526 left in the second. North up by eight. Like I said, uh, Ashwaron just averaging 51 points a game, so the pace is much quicker than they'd like it. Yeah, things have really slowed down. Good thing there's not a shot clock. Yurk through the lane and he got it up and in. Devin how, Yurk. How do you let him go that way? I mean, that is just pure coaching. I mean, you just, you coach your players that he will not go left. But yet he goes left. Jake Emig committing his second foul. And York finishes it off. It's now 26 to 15. Can I rip on the schedule again, Marty? I think we've been a little tardy on ripping on this, okay. this conference. Why does Ashwaubenon have to take two trips to Sheboygan? Well, we don't care about that part of the scheduling. And Sheboygan, does, or oh. Ashwaubenon doesn't uh, host any Sheboygan teams. Why can't they have one and one? We've talked about that before. Same with Pulaski this year. They get both Sheboygan teams up in their place. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'd think they would alternate year to year with half, you know. Right, right, yeah, and, and you can figure that out. I mean, it's not that tough. You know, because it's... Francis playing the tough D. Shot from the corner is no good, and Yurk comes away with the loose ball. Hammeister loading it up from three-point land. Bricked that one. Had a good look, too. Matea had that ball slip out of his hands. I'm not sure if he was followed by Gusky. Well, getting the inside feed was Monroe, but he couldn't do anything with it. Shot is up and in. Three-pointer by uh, Earl Vorpagel, and he was the uh, senior he's talking about. He's got his average. Foul is going to go on uh, Reed Conter. Wow, on a rebound, I guess. Yeah. It's 26 to 18, that three pointer cut into that north lead. Campion's getting ready to check back in. Norris still putting on the press, trying to get this uh, young Jaguar team flustered. Cook had it stolen away. Yurk taking it right to the basket and draws the foul, and that's going to be number two on Bennett Cook. You're better off just to let him take the layup, Bennett. Hey, if I was 6'8 going up against a 6'1 guy, I'd challenge him too. I know what you're saying. Don't, don't get yourself in foul trouble. Yeah, and he's, I mean, he's, if you know anything about your competition, what he's capable of doing, it's not like, I mean, you're talking about. You know, one of the best guards in the entire uh, Area. state. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, you're trying to, might as well give him the layup and. Play on. Yep. Or like you said, just use your 6'8 body better than just physically just go in there and hammer him. Although that can be pretty much fun. <laughs> York nails one of two. Stends the north lead to nine. Matea working on Campion. It's great defense by Campion with oh, Belmore. I was thinking pretty good communication too between Belmore and Campion. Matea trying to push Belmore away. Did you see him go with that offhand, Chris? Push him away, but uh, got trapped on the corner and uh, had to call another timeout. 
What do you get, five a game? Which means they're down to two. <laughs> yeah. And we're still in the first half. There's 3.18 remaining, North on top, 27 to 18. Our next game is gonna be on Tuesday, January 17th, when uh, Green Bay West comes to South. Uh, Chris will not be there. There's an open invitation to the community. I need a partner. <laughs> I got turned down tonight by uh, a former South High player. We won't mention, there's Rick Rice uh, and uh, Paul Wagner. And right down there in the corner of your screen with the glasses on, that's Martha Hill. She's tonight's inductee. And uh, it was really nice talking to her. She does a great interview. She's done some, uh, she's gone places, Chris. Shanghai, China, Boise, Idaho, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, International Law Enforcement Torch Run for Special Olympics. Oh, they got a guy running around wide open underneath. Bouvet's uh, <laughs> was wide open, but they didn't see him. Look at the defense intensity. Jaguars just not a chance. And look at the hustle by Danny, but he's going to get a foul. Yeah, that was, that was good hustle. He fought through that uh, that arm bar. Picks up his second. Team's fourth. Gusky coming in. Yes, Danny, even if you're a sub with two fouls, Coach does tell more than likely we'll have you on the bench for the rest of the half. For uh, the way North has been pressuring, and I think they've done a great job, they, uh, oh boy, that could have been a foul on uh, Vorpo Vorpoggle with the swing of the elbows, but uh, Belmore gets the call. And with his second, here comes Chetty back in. I was gonna say, my point was gonna be, Chris, even though with the pressure and the way North has played, and I think they played pretty well, is uh, they still only got a nine point lead. You know, it's not like uh, Ashwabanon has wilted. They're trying to hang in there anyway. But they've played six minutes or five and a half minutes of basketball. They have a, a whopping uh, six shots here in the entire uh, second quarter. Well, They're just struggling to find something because good seems hands like Nor there. Norse there before they are at the, you know, it's like they know the offense better. Francis is gonna get called for the charging fall and uh, I'll tell you, he was, into the basket, the, the Ashwabanon guy was actually almost on the baseline out of bounds and uh, he still gets called for the charge. Wow. They wouldn't let that happen in college ball. And with that, Brandon Sippel comes in, number 51. He's a big boy. There's the good hands, now watch this. Watch underneath the basket where uh, he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad call, he was way late. But yep. that's, that's just my thoughts. <laughs> Fell well, down pretty good. Made the uh, Ashwabanon parents happy though. Yeah, but he was late getting there. Three point attempt is around and down by Nick Skidmore. They're hanging tough, Chris. Well, you know, they, they're doing the right thing. If they're open, they better shoot because otherwise the Raiders are gonna be all over them. And uh, there he saw a wide open shot. Nick did, and he got it to go. The North Gusky. always has a counter. Gusky, he's feeling it. First basket tonight, Marty's one for six from the floor. 30 to 21, North on top. There's the pressure. Good hands. Manning going hard to the hoop. Don't you dare. Oh, uh, no, that's not a good call. Come he on. He went by the guy. The guy acted out. Here it is. Now this is gonna be the three by Gusky, and that was pure. I didn't agree with that call at all, Marty. Well, it's a seventh team fall on North. It's so two in a row with these guys, they gotta get there. 132 remaining until halftime. There's an offensive foul. 30-21. Still a pretty comfortable lead. Manning accidentally hit his guy in the mouth. He drove by. Good rotation over by Reed Conter.
112 remaining until halftime. There you see it on the top of your screen. North up by nine. Norris still playing the tough defense. A kick out. Three point attempt is off the rim, no good, but the rebound by Monroe. First offensive rebound for the Jags. 45 seconds remaining. Uh, Menning went for the steal, was just a little bit late, but a good idea. And he's gonna come out, that'll be his uh, second foul. Campion, Belmore, and Manning all with two fouls, Chris. And uh, Bennett Cook and Jake Immig for Ashwabanon have two. Didn't look real pure, but, uh, or they should say the stroke didn't look real good, but he got it in. Kyle Monroe. Put them both in. 30 to 23, 35 seconds and counting. Looks like North is gonna run it down for one shot. Twenty seconds. Yurk uh, has it. Ten seconds. Unbelievable. Let him go to the left again. We don't mind, do we, Chris? Not at all. <laughs> Jeez. Shot from half court is no good, and that's the halftime. North on top. 32 to 23, now hopefully at some point during this uh, halftime break we'll have the interviews with uh, Martha Hill and Steve Shar. so stay tuned. This close to changing the world. We are this close. We are this close. This close kind to of making sure no child suffers a crippling disease ever again. This we close. are this close to ending polio. This close to ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org. A 1998 graduate of North High School, an international Special Olympian who has served as a goodwill ambassador for the Special Olympics in the role of international global messenger. She was a Special Olympics athlete for 12 years in swimming and basketball, among other sports. She swam for the junior varsity team here at North High School in her senior year. Martha has also served as the MC at the July 2010 National Games in Nebraska. She has met or worked with such celebrities as Eunice Kennedy Shriver, founder of Special Olympics, and A.J. Hawk of the Green Bay Packers. We thank Martha for all that she has done to represent the true spirit of athletics and for the extremely positive way in which she has presented herself, the Special Olympics, North High School, and the community of Sheboygan. Martha, it is indeed an honor to present this Wall of Fame induction plaque to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Martha Hill.
Joining me is Martha Hill, new inductee for the North High Wall of Fame. Martha, congratulations. This is a great honor. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here this evening. This is a great honor. Now, what does it mean to you to be inducted into the Wall of Fame? It is such a great honor, and this really means a lot to me, and I am so proud of this, and it is so exciting. Now, I know you participated in, in Special Olympics and your main uh, activity was swimming. That's what you were best at. But what other kinds of activities did you participate in? Uh, well, I participated in aquatics and I also participated in basketball and softball and t-ball and bocce and I'm currently doing golf this year. Oh, great. Who do you go golfing with? My dad. All right. Now, when you did the swimming, what were your events and what did you like best about the swimming part of it? Um, my events were the backstroke, the freestyle, the butterfly, and the breaststroke, and the 100 meter reel, and the 100 meter, the individual medley. And it was so exciting, and I really enjoyed swimming a lot. Who were your coaches for uh, swimming? Well, Mike Hansen was one of our coaches for swimming. And he was also one of my teachers at North High School. And he was such an inspiration and he's awesome. Now, one of the things that had to happen to you before you got involved in the uh, Special Olympics was your mom and dad. And, you know, what role did they play in getting you uh, involved in all this? Well, my, my mom and dad really encouraged me, but it was more so my mom that encouraged me to get involved in Special Olympics. I was only 14 years old when I became involved in Special Olympics, and still to this day, I love it. One of the things that people tend to think is that when you're a, a, a special person, you have limitations. Uh, what is your view on all that? Well, I look at it as having an ability, not a disability. And it's all about what we can do, not what we can't do. And it's so important, I remind people every day, it's not about our disability, it's about our ability. Great answer. Now, I know we talked a little bit about your coaches, but uh, what other coaches played a big part in your uh, participation in Special Olympics? Uh, Paul Wagner, he is uh, one of our basketball coaches, and he's also our head golf coach. He is such an inspiration, and he really encouraged me when I was on the basketball court and even on the golf course, and he really taught me a lot. He used to coach basketball at South, you know. Oh, South, the rivalry school. Mm. When you think back to all your experiences with the Special Olympics, what uh, memory stands out in your mind? Well, when I traveled to Shanghai, China for the World Games for Special Olympics, I had the honor of meeting Eunice Kennedy Shriver for the very first time, and it was really one of my greatest treasures, and I'll always remember that. I also heard you're a little bit of a runner for uh, the torch uh, run. Yeah, well, when I was in Shanghai, we got to run with some of the torch runners in Shanghai down the street, and it was and they all, the torches were all lit and we just got soaked up and in the glow and it was amazing. It was so exciting. Martha, I want to thank you so much for coming over and again congratulations. This is really a great honor. Okay, we're going to step out and we come back. I'll have Steve Shar, the uh, head of the committee for the uh, North High Wall of Fame. Shar, the head of the committee for the North, North High Wall of Fame. Steve, thanks a lot for coming over. I really appreciate it. Let's talk a little bit about the Wall of Fame. When did the Wall of Fame begin and, and who's behind it all, you know, getting it started? Actually, the idea happened right around 2000, 2001, uh, when the previous athletic director, Chris Schultz, and a group of uh, f teachers who are now retired and former coaches uh, came up with an idea that they looked at and they looked at other colleges and and schools to see what they had done as far as recognizing athletes. And uh, the people that were behind it were, of course, Chris Schultz was the athletic director, um, Mary Tarumple, who's a former coach, uh, Barb Klein, um, Jerry Holub, uh, I'm probably missing some people, but uh, Bill Richards, uh, Danny Moyer, Rick Rice, uh, they were in the planning stage for about a year and they actually first implemented it in 2002. It seems like they got a really good format for for the program. Right, it's very well thought out. We have a 
we have a designated bylaws that we have for it, and uh, it's it's not real real easy to get into it. Uh, they made it so it, it is somewhat difficult to get in uh, to uh, maintain the integrity of it. I think that's a real important point is maintaining the integrity. As long as you brought it up, you get to tell us what are some of the qualifications that a candidate needs to get in. Okay, I'm going to have to read a little bit because there's a lot of them here that I can't remember. Uh, they must have demonstrated or demonstrate good character and citizenship. Secondly, they must have graduated uh, at least 10 years ago. Thirdly, they must have earned four high school varsity letters, and one of those had to be in their senior year. Uh, no quitters. Right, exactly. Fourth, uh, must have demonstrated excellence in one or more of the following areas. They either had to have an individual state championship, uh, multiple state place winning all state recognition, uh, collegiate championship All-American, national record holder or record breaker, um, national or a, a place winning at a national level meet after high school, professional sports successes, or any kind of national or international uh, athletic recognition. And then we also have special consideration given uh, for an exceptional athlete who may not have been able to meet those criteria uh, due to circumstances beyond their control. Now, one of the things that uh, I've got down on my sheet here is candidates in waiting. You know, uh, we're putting Martha Hill in this year. Are there other candidates out there that are uh, waiting to be evaluated? Uh, we have a number of candidates that have uh, had submissions in past years, and if they don't get in uh, in one year, we reconsider them again in the future. Now, I know you haven't put someone into the Wall of Fame every year, and I was looking at the sheet for Martha here tonight, and it gave a list of the history of the program. The first year you had four, uh, and then some of the years were two, and a couple of years were one, and a couple of years you didn't give any. What determines how many go in or not go in at all? Well, e each year we review the applicants, all of them, and uh, we have our committee of, uh, I believe it's uh, eight or nine people, look at them. And in order to get, we have a long discussion on all, all of them, on the merits of them being in or not. Back into uh, action here, just starting the second half. North, uh, as we start off, is up by nine, 32-23. Leading scorer in the first half was Devin Yerk with 11. And uh, thanks Scott Mailoff for getting those interviews in as much as we could. I've got a couple of things that we didn't touch on with uh, Steve Shar that he wanted me to mention, so we'll bring that up. I think the biggest announcement we made the entire first half was that our fans can watch Chris and Mike anytime on demand. <laughs> on demand. <laughs> Push that button. That'd be at wscssheboygan.com. Click on programming and then uh, PEG TV. So you can regularly watch the games anytime you want. How sweet is that? Belmore with the good hands and knocks it off of Cook's foot. It should be North's ball. And they got it right. I agree. I have them for eight turnovers tonight, Marty. And uh, that's they a, just. That's not too bad, actually, I don't think, considering the pressure they've been yeah, playing under. But in case, unless they handle the pressure and get some better shot attempts, they're going to be in trouble. Conter had a nice arc on it, but uh, hit off the rim and then over the backboard, it'll be Ash Wabanon's ball. Just starting second half action. North now three of 11 from three point range and 12 of 24 from the floor. A lot of easy layups given up by the Jags and oh, another. Yeah, not handling the pressure there at all. A little bit on this uh, Wall of Fame. Nomination forms are available at the North High School uh, Student Office or online at uh, the Sheboygan Area School District uh, website. Just go to North High School and click on Programming, uh, pardon me, Sports and Activities, and then uh, click on the link there for the uh, form. Uh, they'd rather have you submit it online. Oh, nice shot by Matea. Well, their JVs last year were 17 and five. We've talked all night, they're very young. Kevin Phelps hoping next year's gonna be a better year. 
They're already uh, four and two in the league. They're in fifth. Uh, North is in fourth. Pulaski and uh, the Pier undefeated. Matea's first fall. He has seven points now on the night. Finished the first half with five. He's been a spark out there. I told you I like Pulaski, Marty. They're undefeated and ranked number two in Division Two. Hunter's uh, layup attempt was uh, way off the mark. And good hands by Shaquille Francis. Bounce pass to him and he gets the benefit with the nice layup off a feed from Dusky. The Pier ranked number four in Division One. Their only loss is to number one ranked Germantown and that Germantown team is awesome. Oh, really? They've had some good teams over the years. I know uh, there were several years when uh, they always had to wind up playing north at sectionals. Gusky's shot is off no good, but Conter comes away with the uh, rebound. Gusky's shot against the uh, big guy, Cook, in the middle is no good. Ethan just one of nine so far tonight, Marty. How about camping in the lane a little longer, Bennett? <laughs> I thought you were talking about Danny. <laughs> but it's not camping, it's camping. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, a nice shot tonight at Friday basketball. Um, nail that one. Fake, my, fake me out of my shorts and then put Game one in. winner. Game winner. He'll pay for that next Friday. <laughs> Rolling down to the five minute mark. North still up nine. Schwabenon trying to hang in there. Good inside feed. Oh, Gusky had the tie up and then gave up on it. Monroe on the basket. He has eight points in the ball game. <laughs> Here we go. And he creeps it in. De Gusky, <laughs> Gusky, pardon me, Devin Yurk. This will be his uh, second three point play if he can make the free throw. And he's got a three-point basket. What way did he go to that time? I believe it was left. <laughs> Does he go right? Do they ever force him right? You wonder why he's uh, five of seven from the floor. Now he has hit that three, but he's got about three or four layups using that body and that great left-handed move. Free throw is good. He has 14 on the night now, Devin does. Yep. Average and, uh, is 14-6, so. Biggest lead of the night for North 2, Chris. They're up 10. Look at the D. Look at them swarming. No holes except for that pass. That's still great D. That's what you were hoping. Oh, get out of here. Uh, nice feed. Belmore got a nice push on the back of uh, Cook, and it went right over both of their heads for an easy two. Great defense, just a bad break. Did you see who uh, scored the basket? Yeah, I gave it to number uh, Monroe, number 11. 11, okay, thank you. Hammeister taking it right down Main Street with the left hand, couldn't get it in, but Yurk comes away with it, and he loads it up. He was wide open and couldn't get it in. Cook tips it out of bounds, North will keep it. Oh, Yurk had a great look, didn't he, Chris? Yep, normally he bangs that home. Well, he might have had too much time. Yeah. Gusky in the ball game. Richard Bartson up here by us running the top camera. It's giving you that shot on the floor is uh, Eric Wiesman. Scott Mailoff is in the truck. He's our director. We were a little slow giving you those names. We should have done that in the first half already. Campion on a nice bounce pass. Shot attempt by Belmore is no good, but a great feed by Danny. First miss by Luke tonight. It's two of three from the floor. Yeah, not good ball handling there, but Dashwaban unable to keep the ball. Mateus skip pass, Vorpagel couldn't get it. Francis says, get out of my way. Campion, I want that rebound. Belmore with a three-point attempt. He must have had that block, Chris, because it was way short. And then tipped out of bounds by the Jaguars. 3-11 remaining in the third quarter. North maintaining 
a lead. This time it's uh, up to eight. They had it as high as 10 earlier in the quarter. Now, I know we had a game a couple of weeks ago. I think it was East was in here, and uh, you were never worried about uh, North being down. I'm kind of worried here. They're only up by nine. I'm not worried at all. Eight. Campion's three-point attempt is no good, and uh, North having trouble making baskets all of a sudden. I'm not concerned. This Ashwaubenon team also lost to uh, Green Bay East this year. And, or excuse me, I was thinking about something else. Um, Football? No, I was thinking about North beat Stevens Point the other day, and Stevens Point is second in their league, but East beat them, so. North on a bust out. Matea uh, on a good push, not allowing uh, Shaq Francis to get to the basket. He's having a mixed thought there, Marty. I was thinking that North beat Stevens Point on Tuesday night. They're second in the Wisconsin Valley in their league, but they lost to, you know, East, who's four and seven in our league. So <laughs> it just goes. Doesn't figure, right? No, just goes to show uh, our league not so bad, especially the top four. Top four in our league is tough. Here has it, rolling down to the 235 mark. Gusky from way outside and couldn't get it to go. Rolled on the rim, but then rolled off. Cook with his sixth rebound there, Marty. He's uh, been in and out of the lineup in the first half with his foul troubles and uh, giving him a little bit of a rest now that he's in here a little more full time. He'll probably uh, get a few more stats. Vorpagel's shot is uh, no good, but he's blocked by Belmore. And uh, Luke uh, talking to the officials, he's got three. No, I'm not really too concerned at this point, Marty, because I, I just don't see any flow of offense by uh, Sheboygan, or excuse me, from Ashwaubenon. The Sheboygan North pressure is so hard. I don't know why they were showing that kid sucking on the bottle. Is that uh, some kind of meaning to that? Vorpagel on the line, shooting a pair. He missed the first. See Denny Moyers here tonight. Denny and Donna. Yep, and Donna, yep. Uh, Denny is part of that uh, committee. Uh, during the Steve Shar interview, he mentioned uh, a number of people that are involved in that. Cook tips it away from Belmore, or from Conter, and uh, Ashwaubenon has it. Look back. out. Look out below. Francis with the big block. And then he steps on the line, but a great block by Shaq. Can we get a replay of that, Mr. Mailoff? That was awesome, and even Bennett Cook says that was awesome. That was sweet. <laughs> that was a North High highlight film picture right there. Here we go. How about that, Shaq? Not in my house. Vorpagel has it out on top, being guarded closely by Dan, uh, Ethan Gusky. Shot is off, no good. And Yurik, the good hands, grabs the rebound. Good pass into Belmore. He's fouled after the shot. No way! That's a terrible call. Luke, settle down. Settle Coach down. Coach Tessitel is really upset. That was a real bad call. Oh, they're going to get an offensive foul. He got hammered after he released the ball. Timeout by North for Belmore. That's like his fourth. I'd like to see fourth. that on a replay. Oh, we will. And it'll just confirm what we've been saying. Watch this. He's going to release the ball. Watch that guy moving. Oh, that's just bad. That was brutal. Uh, give Chuck Bladehorn credit, though, because he didn't call a T right away. He was uh, pretty patient in that regard. But I thought it was exactly what happened in the first half, Marty. They come in late. Here it is. Way late. Yep. Way late. And then he gets called for the charge. Jonathan Hensler trying to give him a picture on the radio. <laughs> WHL and Chuck, Chuck Bladorn, he's been in, it, in the business for 48 years, and I don't care how long you've been in, you're still going to miss him once in a while. Yep. So That's a uh, tough call. Probably a good move by, uh, well, he's going to take out Luke anyway with four fouls, but uh, even if that would have been his first or second, I think it would have taken Luke out just to settle him down. Even Coach Desatel was a little heated on that, and you don't see that very often. Nope, and uh, to his credit also, he's uh, 
settled down. It, you know, it's over and done with now. Oh, reverse layup is no good. Nice attempt by Monroe, but he couldn't get it in. Contra going down the middle. Up, off, no good. And uh, Bouvet gets the rebound. Reed struggling tonight, 0 Dr for 4. Yeah, I got that name wrong, by the way. Chris Ellis Drev's got that rebound. Francis uh, providing a lot of opposition for Vorpagel's shot, and it goes no good. Francis gliding to the rim on a great pass. Put it up and in. North running the floor. I think North's going <laughs> to... It's under a minute left. Ball is tipped out of bounds. Uh, that's actually probably a break for Ashwabanon because they were getting ready to have a 10 second violation. 54 seconds left in the uh, third quarter. I'm still not concerned, Marty. I just don't, you know, there's just no flow to the Ashwabanon offense that I think they can make a serious run at North. Hopefully that'll stay true through the fourth. Look at this pressure. Vorpagel uh, does a good Tough. job of breaking the press. Well, Gusky's going to take one in the chin the way Vorpagel's been swinging the elbows. Oh, he's going to put Luke back in. Coaches forgot he's got four fouls. The foul goes on Ethan Gusky. That's his first. Uh, Conter going out. Belmore's in with four fouls. Luke's gonna, Luke doesn't play, uh, he doesn't shy away. It doesn't matter how many fouls he has. We'll have to see how he does I here. I think Coach Vines is gonna remind Coach he's got four fouls. Three point attempt is uh, off the top of the backboard. No good, Gusky goes high for the rebound. 25 seconds remaining in the quarter. North again pulling it out, playing for one, one shot. Vorpagel guarding uh, Yurk. Rolling down, 10 seconds left. Gusky loads it up from three point land. Couldn't get it. Belmore with the rebound, kick it out again. Shot attempt by Ethan Gusky, no good. Eshwabanon will get a shot at the buzzer, it's no good. And they wanted a foul on Gusky at the shot, but no call. We're at the end of three, north by 10. Have you heard? Scam artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare numbers. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected we are this close. You're right. We are this close. Of our identity. We're making history. This close to changing the world. We are this close. We are this close. This close so be kind to of making sure no child suffers a crippling disease ever again. This we close. are this close to ending polio. This close to ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org. You can uh, submit a request for a Wall of Fame inductee. Uh, if you want it to be for next year, you need to get it in by August 31st. And then one other thing about the uh, North High Wall of Fame, there are no special funds designated for uh, that program. Nothing in the budget through the Sheboygan Area School District. That's all through uh, donations. And uh, if you want to uh, submit a donation, you can do office back to action we we're just looking at my sheet there's a very little written down for the third quarter because there wasn't a whole lot of scoring well that's because only had three baskets chris had mentioned yeah three of 18 0 for 10 from three point range fall is on francis this is second Yep, 
That's when you can have three of 18 shooting quarters and still be up by 10. Yeah, increase your lead. Yeah, Ashwabno is three of 10 there, 10 of 28 so far. Heading into quarter number four. Nice dump in pass to Monroe and he puts it up and in. Jake Immig with the good pass. 39-31, North up only by eight. Yurk going left, up and in, but they're calling a foul on the way in. So it'll be no basket, and it's only going to be the third foul, pardon me, the fourth foul on Ashwabanon. Imig picking up his fourth foul. Ashwabanon in, uh, looks like a man to man defense. Francis. Taking oh, wow. it right into traffic, and there's some fans down here that are pretty demonstrative about their uh, disgust on some of these calls. Cook has hung in there, Chris. You know, after picking up two falls in the first half, that was only his first fall of the second half. Francis uh, not even close on that first free throw attempt. Forty to thirty-one. Did you mentioned that North is ten and two on the year, five and two in conference. Yep. Ashwaban seventy-five and four and two. They're yeah, trying to get that to I the heard, I heard you say that. Upper part here. Aaron, fifth. Like I said, you got the first four, and you got a couple in between, and then you got some pretty bad basketball teams on the bottom. Uh, Monroe with another basket. Oh, good steal that time, Monroe. Oh, that was a sweet move, Chris. He's on fire. Like a lefty there. Timeout North. North calls a timeout. They're only up five now, 40 to 35. Hammeister's going to check in and uh, still not concerned? Nope, not concerned yet. That's just the fourth turnover by Sheboygan North tonight. Uh, got a little tighter here, but again, until they get a little bit closer, I'm not too concerned yet, but it is 40 to 35, but uh, Monroe has got 10 of the points for uh, Ashwabanon in the second half, Chris. He's got 16 on the night. Uh, North is being led by their number 11, Devin Yurick with uh, 14 points. Another thing, Marty, they got a lot of work to catch up and then just to pass North, I and mean, that's gonna take a lot of effort and uh, this senior, junior lead laden team is Monroe only ready a freshman. for this. Number 11. Well, now the Ashwaubenon fans aren't so smart because they wanted to travel in a three and he just got in the lane, so. You guys are Fans starting to beg from the Jaguars. Gusky loading it up over the back by Monroe, and he's going to get called for the fall. That'll be only his second. Gusky just struggling. One of 13 from the floor, Marty. Six falls now on Ash Wabanon. 5.56 remaining in the ball game. Whoa. That's okay. Yep. That'll work. Blocked by Cook. Monroe has it. Good double by uh, Hammeister. Yeah. And a good job of staying down by Francis, and he scoops that rebound off the board. Very good point, Marty, about staying down on the floor. Hammeister wide open. Can North get one to go? No. Good bounce for the Raiders, though. Francis. Got it up and in, and now there was a call, Chris, I thought should have been a charge, but North gets the call. Of course you do. Getting a little heated in the gym for the officials. <laughs> Gotta love it. Some days, it's, you know, you just would rather not, you know, just things go real smooth, and other nights, things like this, here you're gonna see it. Oh yeah, I agree, Marty, that one was a charge. How about this? Get in there. 
Yurik got the rebound and put it up and in. Just like that, they're back up by nine, Marty. You can't stop them, you can only hope to contain them. Monroe looking to get the ball back. A good kick out pass, image shot from three point land is no good and Francis with another board. Got to have close to 10, eh, Chris? Yeah, not quite. I thought you said he had six in the first half. No, no, that was, uh, or Bennett, or... Uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, right, Bennett you're right. Yeah, you're right. Does. Yep. He's got five rebounds, Marty. Well, you know, the ones that he, he may not have a lot, but it was a spectacular. <laughs> right, ones. grab it and get it. Thank you very much. He's going to go to the line, shooting the one and one. Matea picks up his fourth. Chris, uh, two of those coming right here in the fourth quarter. North just one of their last 15 from three-point range. Ooh. One for their last, oh, excuse me, hey, you know, 17. If you put them in red and white, they'd look like the Badgers. And you're still winning by nine, 10. Good call. <laughs> that free throw did make a 10. I'm going to do it this time, Chris. North will be up 11 after this. And I apologize. It's one for their last 16 from three-point range. One for their last 16. York now with 18 points. Leads all scores. Francis has 11. Matea, jumper in the lane. Can't get it in. Rebound goes to York. He's had a few boards tonight. Yep. Francis right down the lane has his shot blocked by Cook, but he's fouled. That would be the fourth on Cook. Are you going to see it? Woof da. But right back at you. <laughs> yeah. The difference was Francis didn't pick up a foul on his block, Cook did. Seven. Rebound for Yerk tonight. Just like that, North back by a dozen. North has made 10 of 15 free throws on the night, Chris. They're up 12, under four minutes left in the ball game. Wanted an alley-oop to Cook there, but uh, good defense there. Oh. Mate travels. Skidmore. 13th turnover, 13th. Well, it's getting up there now. Skidmore and uh, Vorpagel come in for the Jaguars. 3.41 left. Tell you, they, what they North started with 19 in the first, right, Marty? Yep, 19 really first quarter points. It's, yeah, it's slowed down since then for sure. Well, that third quarter in particular. Gusky driving in. Oh, they're going to get a block on Ashwabanon again. I think the replay will show <laughs> it was a charge. Watch, here we go. Let's see if that guy is set in there. I thought he was set. <laughs> oh well. It's only the seventh point for uh, Ethan. He's uh, well, you'd mentioned it earlier. He's had a rough night from three-point land. Yeah, Free throws have been pretty good. Floor. Yeah. He's uh, five for six on his free throw shooting. Full timeout for Eshwabanon. Now Coach Phillips has things to discuss with the officials. Is that time out on North or them? Ashwabanon. Well, I think they have one left then. Yep. Hey, while well, we got a minute here, Marty, uh, nice article today by Pete Barth about uh, the boys and girls at yeah, Sheboygan North. Basketball? Yeah, about Sheboygan North basketball. And is it Mark Reineman up there? Oh, there's That's right Orsons. underneath us. Joe 
Joe Siemendorf. and Mike. Siemendorf and Mike Meyer and his wife. But a very nice article about the heart of both programs. You know, you're not talking about, you know, basically on a boys program, anybody that's over, you know, six foot four. And a girls program that's, you know, no girls are, are over like six, six feet, six one. But there's a lot of heart. And, you know, yesterday, Susie Runnis' team knocked off number five, Bayport. Number uh, five in the state. Yeah, and that team's only lost one game, and they've, they've played some tough, tough competition. And uh, congratulations to Susie Runnis' squad and the uh, Coach Desatel squad. This uh, school should pick up the mojo and uh, the momentum Follow of this. a little more, right? Yeah. Get out here and watch them play basketball. It's, uh, it's not often you have uh, two highly quality programs right in your same school. Uh, get it to him. Oh, good hustle by Vorpoggle to make the steal. Oh, <laughs> we had mentioned Vorpoggle likes to clear out, as does Matea. And uh, Gusky got cleared out, but he picks up the foul. Just a 16 foul on Ortho. Here it is. Whoop. Yep. You see the elbow there? <laughs> the arm bar. Imig checking out. Catch who was coming in. I think it was Monroe. Three minutes left. North by 14. Just get it across in time. Matea, lob pass to Cook. Shot is up and in. Nice pass by, by Eddie Matea. That's just his second basket since that dunk back in the first half. Right, I noticed that he didn't have too many points at halftime, only two. Yeah, he's two for six shooting, so good job on Cook tonight. Gusky from outside the line, still can't get it in. Monroe, shot by, his shot is knocked off the rim, but it's gonna be goaltending. So Monroe with another two points. North just three of 23 from three point range, Marty. Lead is down to 10. 49-39. Kuski trying to get in the lane, kicked it out to a Belmore. Don't be afraid to do some milking here. Yeah, Ashwabanon's been uh, pretty much in the paint. Kyle Monroe picks up the foul. We've uh, used to call it milk when they wanted to slow the clock a little bit, run their uh, slow down. I'll give you my stat of the night, Marty. Last week I waited till the end with yeah. Sammy Decker's 10 for 10. Two offensive rebounds for Ashwaubenon tonight. Wow. That's, that's a great job on the uh, boards by North. Yep. Belmore had four first half points. This is his first uh, point of the second half. Couldn't get the second free throw in. And then Hammeister a little late going after that ball, picks up the foul and he is coming out. Don't want to foul with the clock stopped. And they get a chance to shoot free throws, Joe. And I yeah. think he knows it. Yeah, this is a, uh, you don't want to give them opportunities to score with the clock stopped. Lead is only 11. Vorpoggle on the line. Francis and Vorpoggle is late. And picks up the foul. Well, Francis has had mixed results on the line. Let's see if he can pop in a couple. Six rebound on the night, Marty. And he is doing very well from the floor as well. He is five of, ooh, five of seven. That's outstanding. Well, Campion's oh, on sorry. the line. What? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Campion's on the line, and he popped in the first one. Dan had a three-pointer in the first half. Now has four points on the game. They get five. 50. Well, you're right. 52 to 39 it is. 52-39. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mothering. Oh, gets down the baseline. Shot is off. Francis with another board gets it over to the man, Devin Yurk. Feet inside and good cover up defense by Bennett. <laughs> Great fake by Danny Canyon. <laughs> well, I thought it was a good job by Shaq to just throw it back out instead of trying to put it up against the big guy. Let the clock run down. We're down to a minute 20. Matea on the tight defense on Yurik. Vorpogel guarding Danny Campion. Under a minute. Oh, Monroe tipped it out of bounds and a good thing he did because uh, Gusky was not very accurate on his pass. I got North 17 of 46 tonight, Marty, but where they really struggled was from that three-point range. They hit two of their first six in the first quarter. There's Chris Lenz. He's doing a lot of duty right now. He's got uh, sports all over the place with uh, girls and boys basketball and wrestling, and of course uh, hockey goes on as well. I have 15 of 34 shooting for Ash, excuse me, 15 of 35 shooting for Ash Wabadon. Sipple back in the ball game as is Kevin Lang. Alec Manning back in. Oh, Sipple wide open and he can't get the layup in. And North gets a break. Ash Wabadon tips it out of bounds. Tipping it out that time was uh, Brock Denny. Oh, tax. Nice pass by his teammate, too. Rolling down to uh, 45 seconds left in the ball game. Chris is going to go downstairs, see if he can get some interviews. Manning loads it up from three-point land and can't get it. Ashwabanon with the board. Monroe off the glass and in. He's had a nice night. He's got 20 points now. 52 41, 15 seconds left. Ten. North is going to come away with the win. That'll up their uh, conference record to six and two. And that's the ball game. Sheboygan North, the winner, 52 41. When we come back, uh, Chris will have a couple of interviews, hopefully. I'll have some final scoring totals, and uh, we'll wrap this ball game up on uh, Wall of Fame induction night with Martha Hill being inducted into the North High Wall of Fame. Hi, I'm Owen Yeoman for Peter. I used to eat a lot of meat. Like a lot of people, I never really gave it much thought. But then I saw how violently animals raised for food are treated and I didn't want to support that. The fact that the meat on my plate was once a living, breathing creature became something I could no longer ignore or justify as food. So I stopped eating meat, just like that, and my body and my conscience feel healthier for it. I'm Owen Yeoman, and I'm a vegetarian. I've got my own problems to worry about. Those people in Africa don't want to help themselves. What's the point? Where's the proof? Actually, smart programs are saving lives. In just 10 years, over 15 million more kids are alive. All for less than 1% of the total U.S. budget. How's that for proof? And today there are new vaccines that could save millions of more kids. Go to one.org and join the movement. We're not asking for your money. We're asking for your voice. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post on our side. I saw your post on our side. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1 800 Runaway to make the connection. 
Big win tonight for the Raiders. Uh, we got Shaq here and Devin. You made a highlight film on that block tonight, Shaq. Yeah. Think about that. He was going up for the dunk, and what were you thinking? Well, I just know Coach doesn't want anyone to dunk at us. And if I get dunked on, I'm coming out the game. So I just figured I'd better jump up there. I know I can jump pretty high, so I figured I'd try it. So when you start practice as a freshman, one of the things, the first things you learn is we never get dunked on here at yes. North. <laughs> Don't let anyone dunk on you. I got a great stat for you guys tonight. I had uh, Ashwaban on with two offensive rebounds. You guys as a team were just outstanding on the boards. Yes, um, at practice we pretty much, we um, really focus on rebounding the most because coach, if we don't block out, we're coming out. So he, he really makes us focus on rebounding. Well, that, you know, a lot of the teams, obviously, if we're gonna, it's been a story all, all year long. Most of the teams are bigger, but if you get in position and, and you know, everybody's doing their job, those things aren't going to happen. Yeah, so coaches, one of his big rules is that we have to be the best blockout team in the conference, so he makes sure we work a lot on that in practices. Now, obviously, tonight was one of those nights where the three ball wasn't going, so you had to count on driving to the basket, and, you know, driving by the basket by, you know, the guards and stuff that led for the easy baskets for you guys underneath as well. Yes, well, we know that he's not, he's tall, but he wasn't really known as a shot blocker, so we figured we'd just take it to him, take it into his chest, and go up strong with it. Well, that's, that's true, and you guys had a, have had an awesome season all year so far, Shaq, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Yes, thank you. Devin, you guys just keep rolling along here. Another team coming in here trying to build some confidence. I think they were fifth in the league, but another victory for you guys. For sure. I mean, we want to get that conference title, so we're going to battle, you know, play with heart. That's what we do. We don't got the tallest people on our team, so we really show it with hustle and defense. Like I mentioned with Shaq tonight, a little different game tonight. You guys are averaging over 70. Tonight was more of a grind out, 52 points tonight. Yeah, I mean, they're packed defense, and I think you said we shot 3 for 23 from outside, which doesn't help very much. But uh, we just drove, got the fouls, and knocked down our free throws tonight, which helped. Another thing, I thought you guys tonight really played awesome defense. And, and I know it's always a thing at North, you got to play defense. But, man, as the year's progressing, you guys are just getting better. Yeah, if we don't hustle, we're coming out. So we got to make those hustle plays. That's what we're about. <laughs> Coach never wants any of these guys in the game here, it sounds like. Yeah, and I, I, it was just like a complete defense. And you watch all the rotation, even the guys coming off the bench, too. Is You know, you guys, when you go and set a trap, guys are always up in the positions and things like that. And it seems like you're always in the right right spots. And everybody's contributing, you know, even guys off the bench. I think you went, you know, 10 deep tonight. Oh, yeah, Coach Worth has us working on defense. I mean, that's what we focus on, rotations. We were very poor in the start of the season. So getting a lot of work done on that. Hope side is important, and we're getting there. So it's really helping us out. Yeah, let's talk about Coach Worth. Here's a guy who played here, another guy who's kind of undersized. He was a great hustler and a big banger, and, you know, he does probably lend a lot to you guys as well. Definitely brings the energy and practice in both uh, in the games here. Uh, really gets us going. It's nice to have him back. Yeah, and again, a couple, you know, victories. You just keep going all along the line here, and, you know, the, your opponents have been pretty tough, and like I said, and you guys just keep knocking them off. Oh, yeah, heart. I mean, we want that conference. We're hungry. We lost last year in that heartbreaker to Bayport, which meant conference, so... We're back at it this year, and we want it. We're hungry. All right. Thanks so much. Great game for you, Devin, tonight, especially driving to the basket. Uh, and Shaq, you too. Uh, we'll see these guys in a couple weeks. With that, we'll send it back to Marty. Good job on the interviews, Chris. So the halftime score was 32-23. to 23. Uh, from that point here, from that point going forward, uh, North only scored 20 points. He had 19 in the first quarter. Uh, in the second half, only had 20 points. Ash Wabadon. Only had 19 points in the second half, and uh, it was pretty much all north as uh, they were able to continually build on their uh, nine-point halftime lead and then hold on to uh, win the ball game. Leading scores for, for Ash Wabanon was their uh, really good freshman player, Kyle Monroe. He had 20 points to lead all scores. Eddie Matea, their fine point guard, had seven. Bennett Cook, the big guy in the middle, 6'8 uh, kid, uh, had the first basket of the game, but only finished with four points. He only scored one more point the rest of the way, and uh, that played big dividends for uh, the Raiders as they were able to hold him down. North was led. They had a three-headed monster going. Devin Yurk had uh, 18 points. Shaq Francis had 12 points. And Ethan Gusky had really an off-night shooting, finished with only eight points, but uh, his ball handling uh, paid big dividends for North as uh, they wound up winning the ball game. For our crew... Scott Mailoff, our director, Richard Bartson and Eric Wiesman on camera, my partner Chris Wright, uh, 
we want to, before we sign off, uh, let you know that our next ball game will be January 17th over at the South when they host West. And one more time, congratulations goes out to uh, Martha Hill, the uh, Wall of Fame inductee tonight for her fine accomplishment. And uh, again, for the crew and my partner Chris Wright, thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you down the road.